behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Chicago is open for phase three, but what does that really feel and look like? The Morning Insiders hit the streets to find out through the lens of photojournalist Reed Nolan and the words of CBS 2's Lauren Victory. It looks and sounds close to the Chicago we know. Ringing in the city's reopening of commerce after COVID. But we haven't crossed the bridge of this pandemic, and the virus of racial inequality leaves several things hanging in the air. The day began both unceremoniously and fittingly with rain. So many of these Boys Town businesses were excited for customers after months of forced shutdown. Instead, wooden planks kept looters away while also illuminating the real reason for protests. The journey for justice won't be sure, nor will financial recovery, but the hope is to remove the roadblocks. Places tarped and tacked over will receive city help, promises the mayor. She's also putting pressure on insurance companies to cut checks quickly. It's too late for some. This was the famous Ray's Music Exchange from the movie The Blues Brothers. The fictional store was actually a pawn shop that closed well before 2020's chaos, but now the cinematic landmark is gone for good. Construction crews tell us it's an emergency demo after fire spread from a neighboring store. The flames likely caused by looters. In Chatham, a bird's eye view of an incredibly destitute center of essential services. Places for food, clothing, banking and beauty are now praying to not only weather the coronavirus, but also the storm of vandals. Business owners in Hyde Park were clearly looking forward to turning on the spigot. Instead, their slow trickle of shoppers is now close to none. What a strange time to be alive, but we can't go back to normal. Here's to hoping we can grow in 2020 together. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Yeah, Ryan, I was leaving work yesterday, heading home, and it was really difficult just to, I drove through West Loop area just to see so many boarded up businesses on a day uh, when they were supposed to be opening. Those images are definitely chilling. 